It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Nate. I'm Sean. I'm Lewis. And this is Ketchup Packets. Today, we are watching Chernobyl, the only season, episode four, The Happiness of All Mankind. What happened last time on Chernobyl, guys? Oh boy! They uh, they got a bunch of coal miners to dig out That's underneath right. the reactor. A bunch of naked coal miners. That's yeah. Right. Well, they didn't they get naked give, coal miners. Yeah. They got <laughs> coal miners. They got naked who became they naked. Got there. They yeah, ordered them on hot, Wish. Hot down. They <laughs> were supposed to have clothes. <laughs> yes. Um, the nuclear professor whose name escapes me. The Gasov. The, the oh woman. no, the woman. Um. Ulyachenkov or something like that. I think yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna get the names wrong. It's we're not we're not good yeah. with Russian names. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry guys. guys. <laughs> She's not a real person anyway, so we don't. Yeah, really yeah, feel right. Too doesn't, bad about her. Matter. Right. <laughs> uh, she was uh, captured by uh, the, the KGB. 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 Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. And uh, what does KGB stand for, Lewis? Something in Russian. Uh, it seems like something I you would know. Something Russian. something bureau. <laughs> bureau or bureau. 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 <laughs> bureau. <laughs> I see. Um, it's not the killer groundhog burrow. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After she was digging around, trying to get more information about what actually happened at, in at the at the plant. Mm -hmm. Um. Jeez, I can't really remember a whole lot more. You guys help me out. Uh, what else was last episode, Lewis? Trying to remember. Like, yeah, the miners were a big part of it. Mm -hmm. Um. There was the meeting with Gorbachev telling him all the stuff you need to right. undertake. Oh, to oh yeah, it was just like the, the area. Hey, this is a like decades long cleanup mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. that we've got to do. We've got to we have like to kill all the like take get all the animals yeah. and all the rocks and all the trees and they all got to go <laughs> for like yeah. a really big area over a very long period of time. Uh -huh. Many men will die. Yes, and thousands and thousands will die. Yeah, in the process. Yeah, bad stuff. So yeah, on that cheery note, should mm -hmm. we uh, take a look at the what that of... project looks like? Yeah, yeah. let's jump the in. The happiness of all mankind. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We have a Patreon. If you would like to give to our Patreon, there's full-length reactions and polls for movies and that kind of cool stuff. So check it out. More soldiers, more famine, more bodies. My brothers never came home. But I stayed, and I'm still here. After all that I have seen. So I should leave now, because of something I cannot see at all. No. All right. Dang. It's hard to argue with yeah, that. I lived through the whole Logan War, I think. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Why do? Is that Why? necessary? Uh, it's, it's probably... It's no irradiated, yeah. 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 Might be irradiated, that's true. It's not gonna stop her from drinking it, though. It's the impression I get. <laughs> nope, she's right back at it. Stand up now. Kid doesn't know how to deal with the reality of a non-compliant mm -hmm. old woman. Yep. This is your last warning. Killed her cow? What? They were gonna have to anyway. Yeah, it's part yeah, of this project anyway. Point. You need to do that anyway, and it's a way to make your point to this lady. Yeah. So. Yeah. Still not very nice. No, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. Because very nice is not really what they're going for, huh? That's no. not a no. consideration at this time. No. This has got to be an extremely hard time to be this lady. Yeah. yeah. Just looking around at all those trees, you're just like, how are we ever going to clear all of this? Like, all the topsoil, yeah. too. Like, it's all got to go. Yeah. It's and insanity. You, you can't, like, just burn it, is my understanding. Because no. it just releases radioactive smoke, right? Like, let's just pile it up and bury it somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I think Legasov said you have to flip over the top layer of soil, you know, yeah. bury it under itself. You have to get dirt from underneath yeah. to put on the top. Jeez. The atom is a humbling thing. Probably a real photo. Yeah. 
The one on the side, Nina, 2,000 Röntgen, one hour, fatal. We used remote control bulldozers in Afghanistan. Too heavy. They'd fall right through. So then, moon rovers. Unicard's STR ones. Mm. And what about this large section here? Marsha. 12,000 Röntgen. If you were to stand there in full protective gear, head to toe for two minutes, your life expectancy would be cut in half. By three minutes, you're dead within months. Even our lunar rovers won't work on Marsha. An amount of gamma radiation penetrates everything. The particles literally shred the circuits in microchips apart. If it's more complicated than a light switch, Marsha will destroy it. It would be Jeez. fair to say that that piece of roof is the mm. most dangerous place on Earth. Hmm. Yeah. Well, what's the solution to that problem? So. It feels like they staged the recreation of a real photo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way they had that frame there. What unit were you in? Uh, they had me in Motorpool in Kiev, but then they... Not this bullshit. In Afghanistan. Oh, um, I wasn't in Afghanistan. I'm not in the military. They're running out of men. Guy looks like a cross between Pedro Pascal and Johnny Depp. What do you want? Give me an egg basket. No, I've only got the one. Give me the fucking basket. He's with me. You understand? Nobody fucks with them. Okay. We make these from lead scrap. Wasn't Put gonna. Now? No, no, you can wait until the radiation gives you a cunt. Yes, now. Over your clothes. Fucking shit. <laughs> you ever go hunting? No. I was like... Oh, you carry eggs in there. <laughs> oh, I get it. You, me, that ugly Armenian in the tent, Daryl. I would hesitate. Is anyone else wearing one of these? <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Animal control. Yeah, they're radioactive. So they have to go. But it's not hard. They're mostly pets. They're happy to see you. They run right up to you. Bang. You load the bodies on a truck, dump them in a pit, bury them in concrete, and then we drink. As much vodka as you want. Plus a thousand rubles. Let's go get you a gun. How much is a thousand rubles? Well, more than those guys are getting a month. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Kill themselves. <laughs> People in the comments were saying to our earlier questions about rubles mm -hmm. that like the conversion rate would not even be would not even help us understand because the Soviet Union was a closed economy where oh, like okay. the prices of things were heavily yeah. regulated based on other stuff besides just market demand and so it would even if we translated it yeah. to dollars it wouldn't help us understand how much they can buy with it. Got it. Right. That's I can't think of a more depressing job, though. Like then then having all to the go pets. kill the pets. Your job is to go through this town and kill all the pets. Yeah, that's uh, devastating. And Let's then see you get as much because you want in a thousand rubles, though. Let's see how you feel yeah. at the end of this episode, fellas. Comrade. Was it a matter of, like, law anywhere or anything? Did everyone call each other comrade, or is it a cultural thing? Hmm. Good um, question. I don't think it was law, but... Yeah. Like, it is... Weird, but. If you don't, then you're not participating in mm -hmm. the... Yeah. Strongly advised. Mm-hmm. I guess it sort of it manifests as, like, manners, you know? But it's... Yeah. She can have that one. Thank you, comrade. Very punchable face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those cabbages. Nice job, guys. Now, what are they doing here? 
Oh, right probably there. something to kill all the trees. Probably yeah, and and down. wildlife too. It's yeah. like probably easier than trying to catch woodland creatures. Yeah. Yeesh. We recognize this stuff by now. Yeah. Yep. Could have made so many pencils with all that. I was trying to think of a pencils joke. It beat me to it. <laughs> Glad I could help. Well, you should have been thinking of them before this, and then you could write them down. <laughs> oh, God. Tell me when we're ready to move it. To think that's what we put on the moon. I'm not that one. I know, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, what's that? It's mine. <laughs> it's cool to see their relationship evolve a little bit. Mm hmm. We've been through it together at this point. Yeah, it's a bonding experience, yeah. I would say. Yeah. This is Dyatlov. The in the depth experience. No, leave. He's still alive. I need your help. He never went that close to the yeah, actual. Yeah. Fair enough. Like surface. I mean, to the actual, like you know, the point of radiation. Order, what order? Topped and off, caught it out. Akimov pressed it. Was the only good decision they made, incompetent morons. Can you confirm that the reactor exploded after they attempted to shut it down? How do I even know it exploded, huh? To the bitter end, he's not going to acknowledge yeah, it. Yeah, Come on, dude. <laughs> Do the program. Here's a photo. No, you think the right question will give you the truth. There is no truth. Ask the bosses whatever you want, you'll get the lie. And I will get the bullet. It's easy to hate this guy, but I feel like he's a complicated character. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kid, don't you play video games? That doesn't teach you how to do this. <laughs> don't let them suffer. Or I'll kill you. Understand? I mean it. I've killed a lot of people. Good. Then we're ready. Yeah, they're all wearing the egg catchers. Yes? Mm -hmm. yes. No, they are, yeah. But nobody else in that camp was, and he told him to put it on immediately. Yeah. I would wonder if I was being fucked up. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Also, Egg Basket is a great, like, of course, that's what they call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now, they're abandoned dogs that mm -hmm. are desperate for human contact. Yeah. Yep. None of these dogs have any chance of surviving anyway, right? No, but you can't let them try to leave the area. I understand that, but... Door to door! Trying to feel better about the situation. It's terrible. No, there's no yeah. feeling good about this. No, this is the only good thing about this is it's a mercy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. At least they don't seem to be enjoying themselves. Of course not. No. Yeah. yeah. This guy seems to be taking it as a sacred duty. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, 
everybody. God. I feel like that's your only warning. Yeah. Don't let them suffer. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. You're dragging that to the truck. You gotta collect them all too afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. The happiness of all mankind. What? Our goal is the happiness of all mankind. Moon rovers? Yeah, but they're only for the, the lesser two rooftops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's better than nothing. Light is good. Signal's good. Alright, let's take this easy. Forward one meter, reverse one meter. Forward one. Germans. Reverse one. Yep. Ugh. Dang. You anticipated All that, that negotiating Lewis? for I, nothing. But well, I know what they end up having to do for this. Oh, okay. Don't fucking go on my job! Tell them! Sherbina is having his faith in the party shaken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They did kind of toss him to the wolves. They told the Germans that the highest detected level of radiation was 2,000 Rontgen. They gave them the propaganda number. That robot was never going to work. You need a new phone. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be out in that rain. <laughs> no. It is fascinating to me that even when they're trying to solve a problem, they would still give the propaganda number when trying to deal with a situation like this. Yeah, like, well, saving face is extremely important in their mind. Even in the face of complete failure, apparently. Yeah. Like, all that effort. It's, yeah, it's wasted. It, it is confusing. Come, yeah. We need another robot. One that can withstand the radiation. At last, there is nothing. The Americans. If the Americans had that kind of technology, do you really think they'd give it to us? And even if they would, the Central Committee would never stoop to us. You know it, I know it. But there are no robots. I think it's time for a little bit of pride swallowing on the committee's part. Okay. But it seems like it wouldn't even work. Yeah. Oh, what was that? <clears throat> we use bio robots. It's called humans. <laughs> At least he's learned to do it clean. Yep. Yeah. Hands aren't so shaky anymore. Sad. Where do they get their food? They eat the chickens. And they eat each other. Yeah, it is kind of a mercy. Dogs aren't supposed to be without people. No, yeah, especially not when they've been, like, with people the whole time. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're probably not very happy right now. Oh, no. Just 
Let's go outside. Is that water in his canteen or just more vodka? It's probably water. In the canteen, probably water. I suppose so, yeah, <laughs> but I feel like you would need vodka mm -hmm. in this moment. <laughs> yeah. He's still firing. At least he didn't make the kid do it. Yeah, you know, yeah. that was very. Just as easily have been like, do your job. You right, know, yeah, like but he was parties. merciful on him, yeah. He knows that this is messed up, even though he's like a pardoned, you know, military yeah. man, seemingly. Mm hmm. Well, he knows this kid's not a soldier, and it's his mm -hmm. first day, too. Yeah. Gets your emotion in a different way than yeah. people for some reason. Absolutely. I think because they're unable to understand it on any level, and yeah. because they're also like incapable of having done anything to deserve it. You know, like yeah. with a human being, you know, you like they. It could be a horrible yeah. person. You don't know. You can conceptualize, and so that allows your mind to put some distance. You know, obviously, yeah. it's yeah. not it's not any less horrible when a person dies. Clearly, but for some reason, the the innocence in yeah. pets. Is yeah. What makes well, it man's harder. inhumanity to man is just. It's just a foregone conclusion. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. For yeah. some reason, once you drag a dog specifically into it, it's mm -hmm. it takes mm -hmm. another level of uh, intensity. We've like we've accepted some level of responsibility for dogs. Yeah, right. yeah. Right? Like it is our fault. We are their that keepers. Right. Off of this, this is a working area. We must clear the graphite. Some of it is in blocks weighing approximately 40 to 50 kilograms. They all must be thrown over the edge here. Watch your comrades moving fast from this opening, then turning to the left and entering the workspace here. Take care not to stumble. There's a hole in the roof. Take care not to fall. Jeez. You will need to move quickly and you will need to move carefully. I was joking when I said... As I have described it. Bio robots were people. No, they yeah. were he was not joking. Yeah. yeah, this is the only way. Yeah, it's your task to memory, then do your job. The only <laughs> thing capable of the task that doesn't mm -hmm. vaporize the instant you put it out there mm -hmm. is a person. Yeah. I mean, not vaporize, yeah, obviously. Yeah, well, just right. Yeah, and then you get ninety seconds. Mm -hmm. Ninety seconds. It's time to go. After ninety seconds, I will ring a bell. When you hear it, return immediately. Drop your shovels in the bin and proceed down the hallway for decontamination. Above all, while on the roof, throw your debris over the whale. Do not look over the whale. Is that clear? Very well. The temptation to look down there would be yeah. really, really powerful, yep. too. It's like, why? Yeah. What's down there? Right, but the knowledge that you shouldn't would also, yeah. you know, yeah. that would be pretty... Oh. Yeah, it seems like you're, you're briefed pretty heavily on the seriousness of the situation. And you need to follow instructions, like, for real. I love the way this is shot, it makes you feel like you're one of the guys who has to run out there and mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. Would they have the Geiger counters just going crazy? Well, I mean, it might even be non-diegetic, but it's effective. Yeah, I yeah. think it's for the audience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I seriously doubt they'd be strapping Geiger counters to all these guys. It's like they know, right? The answer is really flipping high. Oh, he looks. Don't look, man. Yeah. Water feels yeah. so dangerous for some reason. Yeah. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. That guy is not gonna be doing well. The extra time and the falling on the mm -hmm. floor were both very, very bad. I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh, buddy. 
I've constructed a timeline, minute by minute, second by second in some places. Every decision, every button push, every turn of a switch. And? Are they guilty? Yes. Of gross incompetence, violation of safety regulations, recklessness beyond belief. But the explosion? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? You've seen this before. Please believe me when I tell you that I had no idea it could cause an explosion. None of us knew. None of you knew what? In 1975, at an RBMK reactor at Leningrad, a fuel channel ruptured. The operators pressed AZ-5, but instead of the power going down immediately, for a brief moment, it went up. The floor will not lead to an explosion unless the operators have pushed the reactor to the edge of disaster. So it is their fault? Yes. But not only their fault. No. And so they were operating it horribly, but they still didn't know this was in the possible range of bad outcomes. Right. right. There are 16 RBMK reactors running in the Soviet Union right now. We have to fix them. The only way to do that is to go public, force the Central Committee to take action. What you're proposing is that Legasso humiliate a nation that is obsessed with not being humiliated. Yes. Do you know the name Vasily Ignatenko? No. He was a fireman. He died two weeks after the accident. I've been looking in on his widow. She gave birth. A girl. The baby lived for four hours. Mm. They said the radiation would have killed the mother, but the baby absorbed it instead. Her baby. Jeez. We live in a country where children have to die to save their mothers. To hell with your deal. And to hell with our lives. Someone has to start telling the truth. It was a hell of a scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look how much more hardened he looks yeah. just after one day. Yeah. Well, it's been. Oh sure, yeah, it's been a long time, right? That's yeah. true. Here's some unbelievable callousness. Let's have her stay in this room, where yeah, all the real. mothers have their babies. crib right there too, mm -hmm. you know? Like, yeah. Is that necessary? Jeez. Well. Yeah. And this is a pretty brutal yeah, one. that was brutal. Yeah. You know, I've watched a lot of TV shows where people just die by the thousands, you mm -hmm. know? War movies. Mm-hmm. There's something about killing the dogs, man. It's just really upsetting to me. Yeah. Yeah. It's... I've seen a movie, I, I think it's called Waltz with Bashir. This is a movie of people, it's like an animated movie that's a com compilation of stories people are telling from their experiences in a war. I can't remember what war, it's a lesser known one. Yeah. But one guy tells a story of having to go into a town. It was like before troops were going to come in and he was part of the advanced team that had to go in and kill the dogs so it mm -hmm. wouldn't tip off that they were coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he talks about that he has a nightmare every night since then about being chased by a pack of all those dogs that he killed on that night. He's like, yep. oh, they're all chasing him together as a pack every night when he dreams. That would haunt me too. Yeah. yeah. So it seems like it's a pretty soul-breaking activity to engage in. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, this is a little bit more, you know, it's not just kind of for the sake of advancing the right, yeah. war. It's not a tactical maneuver yeah, like, like that it's story. Like a, we right, can't, yeah. these dogs, we can't let these dogs roam around. It's just mm -hmm. going to make things more complicated, but... You're kind of euthanizing them, in a way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's kind of, you can kind of square that, but it's even still the action in the, t in the moment is still terrible. And it's interesting, like, my thought when when they started doing that was like why are they showing us this 
you know like do we really need to see do we need to see this part like but then that's sort of the point of the show isn't it mm -hmm. just it's to important be like to see. you yeah. have to see all of it see it look at this happened like check this out it's not it's not just drama for drama's sake it's a retelling of a true historical event and right so people had to go into that town and all the surrounding area and kill all of the dogs yeah it's it's giving yeah, it's horrifying. telling you on an emotional level what the mm -hmm. consequences of this mm -hmm. accident were and the cost of allowing an accident like this to happen you know yep. yeah well like the the thing that get or one of the things that gets me is that like in other media whether it's fiction or non-fiction when you see a lot of people dying or in that story of like, you know, they had to go in and kill the dogs in advance of soldiers arriving. Like, those are conflicts between people. Mm -hmm. And this is a conflict with like the results of our actions. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. like a conflict between man and nature almost. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, but it's we wronged nature. nature. Right. Yeah. Makes we wronged sense. nature. And so yeah. now we're reaping the, yeah. the consequences yeah. of that. Yeah. And like, not to get to like, I don't know, English 101, but like, there's this juxtaposition of like, we have to kill our children, dogs, mm -hmm. right? Uh, to survive, and like the baby dies because mm -hmm. of this mistake. Like there's just like all of the unintended consequence consequences and mm -hmm. the you know the the death of what could be. Yeah, like, well, I always think about that man from the earlier episodes too. That was one of the people on the bridge in the first episode that was watching mm -hmm. the fire from far away, and he yeah. had his baby there. And then yeah. later on, when we saw Ignatenko yeah. in the hospital. She was looking around and she encountered him and he's got the baby and it's got radiation burns and he's yeah. like trying to just reach out for help, you know, again, yeah. unintended consequences and, and killing of the future by this accident. You know, it's and definitely it's, a theme in this show. Yeah. It's kind of like also a theme that I've noticed is like the, the, the people and the things that seem to suffer the most are the most vulnerable and lowest. I don't want to say like lowest rung, but like, you know like a bunch of coal miners had to go mm -hmm. in there and deal with this you know mm -hmm. like the people who are least responsible for bringing this about mm -hmm. are the ones who have yeah. to suffer to fix it yeah and then the people who are the most responsible and covered up the potential of it happening and all of these things seem like they just could just kind of sit in their ivory tower and not ever have to really face any of it well they yeah. said they're putting dietlov and then the other two guys like the the party guy mm -hmm. or the the guys who were in charge of the power plant right. i think is what yeah. they are they're not party men but but not those the, guys are going on trial so yeah good yeah but not like the kgb agent whose job it was to read that paper and redact those two pages <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. and and uh, again like that was done for comfort and yeah. against the like like the the warning of experts <laughs> well <laughs> completely but ignored legasov even says like right. i knew about this none of us realized that it could lead to an explosion like they didn't mm -hmm. think about somebody doing everything else wrong with an RBMK reactor first mm -hmm. and then putting that flaw into play, you know? Right. Yeah. But, like, if that thing, if that piece of knowledge was, like, a readily available, then the level of, like, just general, you know, fuck offedness of the of the people at the plant mm -hmm. would probably have been reined in sure, yeah, just, earlier. Right, right. If if people if it was more known to anybody who works with this stuff that this is a design flaw in these reactors then somebody could put those pieces together mm -hmm. when you limit who can yeah. know about it you limit who can have new thoughts about it i guess right yeah. and and try to solve the problem the same mm -hmm. thing happened when they when they reached out to the germans to get their you know their little drone and then yeah. they it just didn't work and it's like uh, if you're a country and you're afraid of being embarrassed Maybe get over it in the face of something like this. Well, get I, over it, yourself and yeah. just like I, w I have much more respect for a powerful entity that admits that like we made a mistake. We made that we have to act right now. Everyone needs to act right now. These are the actual conditions. No mm -hmm. propaganda of what's happening. And this is like if we all work together, we can solve it. We're sorry. Moving on. Yeah, but, but no, sorry. Like okay, yes, but the thing is like the system that they're operating under moves forward under the power of not being embarrassed, right? Mm -hmm. Like, as yeah. long as they appear confident, they can act confident, and then they can do the things that they want. They're but, as powerful as they appear, right? But well, there's no, there's no decision-making process to, like, check that within the system. Like, yeah. you would have to have everybody in the system decide to do that almost simultaneously, because if yeah. one person does it, the system spits them out because right. it's not <laughs> continuing Which what they need. makes yeah. it functionally impossible if what's it, yeah. what it needs is for yeah. everyone to take the same action at once. That's not going to ever happen. Right. Know? 
You're trying to figure out how to solve a problem, and you got to give them the propaganda number, though. That's a yeah. problem. Well, but the you other reason, problem. the big, I think a big reason for them to not acknowledge the true nature of what has gone on is something that she said during this last conversation here. There are 16 other RBMK reactors operating in the Soviet Union right now. That's right. You know, if you say like, yeah. hey, a problem in the way this is built made it blow up, suddenly you have a responsibility to shut down a whole bunch of power plants, and that yeah, can have right. a cascade effect that's very devastating. Yeah. So, I don't know, it's, I see, it's you know, thing. it's more than just being like, oh, we're embarrassed, you know, like yeah. there are, you become responsible for other stuff once you acknowledge, respond, you know, your hand in the, in the problem in the first place, and I think that's something they're trying to avoid. The and, state? Responsible for <laughs> stuff? No. Well, they're also, like, they are operating out of fear, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because from their perspective, the other side, like, all of the paranoia that the U.S. had about Russia, like, that wasn't unreciprocated. No. It's true. And yeah. so, like, it is comfortable to, like, live in that lie. It's, and it's hard to think about it from the Soviet perspective, as we've all grown up as Americans, too. Like, I mean, yeah. we think about, you know, we're taught about the Russian nuclear threat. We all sort of came up after that, but... Uh, it's hard to imagine being a Soviet and thinking about, you know, the Americans invented the nukes, so they yeah. might create something even worse. And right. you know, we're like, right. we've got yeah. these nuclear bombs, but what if they're working on the next thing? You know, That's like, true. I imagine that America was a scary adversary during the Cold War, and I don't really ever take the time to think about it from that perspective. Yeah, yeah, they're scary. Mm -hmm. And you know, <laughs> I guess about you know thinking about it too, America is no like stranger. To not admitting that we've made a massive, massive mistake. Oh, not at all. Yeah, no. no. Well, this show is just about the ways that the Soviet yeah. power structures made that worse. But it's not yeah. to say that any other society is immune from yeah. these tendencies. I it think they're parts of be, human nature. It seems yeah. to be a yeah, a kind of a general issue with powerful governments mm -hmm. everywhere for all yeah. of time. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't like to be like, we did an oopsie. Mm -hmm. Help us out. We probably yeah. shouldn't have so much power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Said no Said one this. ever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, what do you think, guys? Yeah, that was, that was crazy. I'm going to have to emotionally recover from that one. Yeah, but, yeah. we need some recovery, I think. Yeah. Thanks yeah. so much for, for watching, guys. This is great. Um, Thanks for joining it's hor us. horrifying, yeah. but it's also it's it's great to have you all here watching this with us. And it's a, it's a good time, so we appreciate it. Um, and until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Sean. I'm Lewis. And this is Ketchup Packets. Dog barking. <laughs>